What's up, everybody? Well, it arrived from the United States Mint Fulfillment Center in Irving, Texas. This is going to be the 230th anniversary Flowing Hair Silver Medal. This is a reproduction of Robert Scott's 1794 Flowing Hair Silver Dollar Design, the very first United States silver dollar that was first produced in 1794. The 1794 flowing hair silver dollar, we're gonna discuss a little bit about that a little later in this video after I unpackage this. Not unboxing, but it's gonna be an unpackaging. And I hope you stick around till a little later in the video when I do discuss the 1794 flowing hair silver dollar. A very expensive coin, very low mintage coin, very expensive. We're going to talk a little bit about that later. But first, let's get into this package. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up button on the video and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, including did you purchase one of these? Did you find a privy mark? Now, I know there was a couple of people who told me in the comment section of one of my prior videos that they did come across the privy mark. Did I receive one of those privy marks? Did I receive one of those 230 signed COAs? We're going to find that out right now. So we're going to carefully cut into this package. You only have one chance to get this unpackaging correct because you can only unpackage it one time. All right, so here is the box. And I must say from watching other videos and looking at this on the United States Mint website, this box looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than a lot of the most recent United States Mint packaging but here it says 230th anniversary flowing hair. Really nice box. So let's go ahead and take it out of this box. There we have black box, United States Mint. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now I want to do it upside down because I don't want to see the COA. Because the COA, I've been told that the autograph, I believe the signature of Ventures Gibson is on top of that COA. And then when you open up that COA, I guess if it is a privy mark, they show you the privy mark in the COA, on the COA. So I don't want to see that COA right now. So we're going to look at the coin because I want to know if I have that privy mark. Now, I'm not expecting that privy mark. Let's get that out of the way. I bought this for that metal. Not expecting, 100% not expecting to get that privy mark but we're gonna see right now if this has that privy mark we're opening this up we're opening this up and just as I expected this does not have the privy mark and since it does not have the privy mark now we can take a look at the COA and we can see that there's no signature let's zoom out of here a little bit and let's see, 230th anniversary flowing hair silver medal. It's not a coin. It's not a dollar. It is a silver medal. And here is the COA. You can go ahead and read everything. You see how there's a plain edge. It's not a readed edge. Now, the original flowing hair silver dollar also did not have a readed edge. It had a lettered edge. Minted in Philadelphia, but there's no mint mark. Mint mark is none. Weight is one troy ounce of three nines fine silver. And then on the back, it has the fake signature of Fetra C. Gibson, the United States Mint Director. And over here, I believe if you did have that privy mark, it would show you the privy mark over here on the COA. But Again, this does not have the privy mark, but it does have a nice little leather clamshell case, which is new.
It's not real leather. It is fake leather, so don't be expecting it's going to like smell like leather and all that. It's not real leather. You do have the flowing hair design inside of this clamshell. So really cool. Let's take a quick peek at this metal, silver metal. I hope I didn't call it a coin because it's not a coin. It's not a dollar. It is a silver metal. It does not have a denomination. So 2024. The flowing hair silver metal. Let's take a good look at it. I'm not seeing any flaws. I'm not going to take it out of the capsule on this video because I don't want to get it all smudged up or anything like that. I don't want to get any scratches on this metal. And then we can flip it over. Does this have a coin flip or does it have a metal flip? So if we flip it, a coin flip, and it's upside down. So it does not have a coin flip. You can flip it this way, turn it around, and it is right side up. So it does not have a coin flip. But there you have it. There is the reverse of the silver medal. It says United States of America. And then it has the eagle design in the center. A lot of people do not like that eagle design, but it was the original design. I appreciate the United States bringing back these classic designs. So I'm not going to complain about what the eagle looks like because this is a design from 1794. Speaking of 1794, I wanted to give you some facts about the 1794, the real flowing hair silver dollar. So the flowing hair silver dollar from 1794 had a mintage, a low mintage at that, of 1,758. One interesting thing that I found out about that 1,758 mintage, and these are estimates, these are kind of guesstimates, I guess, from experts, and I found this out on PCGS's website, by the way. I was also watching a video, and I'll put a link to the video that I was watching in the description of this video. But the video was from the American Numismatic Association. And they were showing a real flowing hair silver dollar, by the way, that has to have its own security. So you know how valuable that coin is. And I believe they said that the purchase price of that silver dollar was $12 million, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, I'll put a link to that video I would highly recommend you checking out that video. But it's amazing to see, and the coin needed its own security to be at that coin show. But they had it at that coin show on display. So very cool. The actual 1794 flowing here silver dollar was 90% silver, 10% copper. This silver metal, of course, is three nines fine pure silver and it's not a dollar it's not a coin it's a silver metal now this coin there i go i called it a coin this silver metal does have a smooth edge it doesn't have a reeded edge but neither did the actual flowing hair silver dollar that flowing hair silver dollar from 1794 also had a smooth edge but it had a lettered edge the lettered edge on the 1794 flowing hair silver dollar read 100 cent one dollar or unit and I believe that's exactly what it's going to say on the flowing hair gold coin the 24 karat gold high relief coin that's going to be released by the United States Mint in November I believe it's November 14th. Now, reeded edges, I did a whole video on this a couple years ago. Reeded edges didn't start until the 1790s, right around when the 1794 flowing hair silver dollar was struck. And the reeded edges on the silver dollars or silver coins was to prevent what they called clipping or filing or shaving of the silver so people couldn't file some of the silver off or shave some of the silver off and that was also i believe the same purpose for the lettered edges because if the edges had letters or 
wording on them, then people would not be able to file or shave or clip some of the precious metals off of that dollar. So that's the reason for reeded edges. And I believe the same reason for lettered edges was so people were not able to file the edges. And by the way, that 150 of the survival rate or somewhere between 75 to 150, the experts, what the experts estimated is a survival rate for the actual flowing hair silver dollar from 1794, that is in all grades. So quite remarkable. Whenever we talk about limited mintages or low mintages for modern coinage or metals, the actual flowing hair silver dollar from 1794, that is a true rarity, something that is worth millions and millions and in some cases greater than $10 million. That there, my friends, is a true rarity. Now, for those of you who watch many of my videos, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of United States Mint silver medals. I do wish this were a coin. However, in order for something like this to be a coin, you would need Congress to pass legislation. But this is definitely not the privy mark, but it is nonetheless, in my opinion anyway, a beautiful metal. I know a lot of people are not real fond of this design, but this is, keep in mind, this is a design from the 1700s. Almost exact, maybe not the exact replica of the 1794 design, but it's pretty, it's pretty dang close to the exact design for the obverse as well as the reverse. What if you wanted one of these and you have not purchased one yet? Please, in my opinion, don't FOMO over the higher prices that are currently on the secondary market. It's very possible that the United States Mint will come back, make these again available with that red add to the bag on the United States Mint website. Maybe early in the morning, 7.30 in the morning Eastern time, or maybe they'll come back with a lot of them available in the next week or two, maybe a couple of days, maybe a week, maybe a couple of weeks, you never know. But at the same time, please make your own decisions, do your own research, do your, your own due diligence and come to your own conclusions. But I personally would not FOMO over this if you were not one of the ones who actually purchased one of these from the United States meant for $104 or if you had to add shipping about $109 or just below $110. I do appreciate everybody for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I do hope you enjoyed this video, found a lot of this video informative. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button on the video. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section below. Thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody in the comment section of this video and on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.